Oh, well, so what I thought I would talk about today, the fog condensing in the trees and it's dripping. So I guess we're going to test this camera's ability to uh, be water resistant. But today, let's first, we're going to have to go up to the uh, Arctic North Pole and find out what the ice is doing. I suspect it isn't good. Let's go over there and check. One thing about San Francisco is you have a lot of these little tiny forests and in the forests it's it's completely unnatural but it's very calming and you can come around and walk in these little forests but you're completely surrounded by homes and, and, and urban life, buildings, but right here, calm. So let's go over and check out what's happening in Greenland. As you know, that ice sheet has seen some amazing temperatures this year, just like in the last couple of years. But we'll go over and do, take a good look at winds and temperatures throughout Greenland. And then there's just one more thing I want to show you. That one more thing is a good look at what CO2 in the atmosphere looks like. Let's go over and look at CO2 throughout the globe. As you can see, CO2 concentrations vary all over the planet. It's more like a cloudy day in one part of the world, and in another part of the world, it's completely, you know, we're, we're into the 390s. But in others, look how high this one is. That's amazing. That's in Canada. And this one, China. That's why it's difficult to really uh, study CO2 in the atmosphere until now. We have these fantastic new programs coming online and everyone can check out this kind of stuff themselves. And you can literally see who's putting out the CO2. So an icebreaker went through the Northwest Passage of North America. This is a passage that has never been open except for the last few years when ships have been able to go through because of the melting ice. This is the earliest in the year that the Northwest Passage was passed. And during the voyage, ports are that the ice was there, but very, very thin and degrading. Now, a lot of people have predicted that this year we'll see an open ocean up there. I think that's a little premature. I think that may not happen for another 10 years. But I do hate to predict because whenever I predict something, something completely different happens. So a lot of you have sort of given up on uh, humans and their uh, problems with in the world. You know, I obviously have not given up or I wouldn't be doing these videos. There's all kinds of things people can do to at least try and do something themselves. The big one is what you put in your mouth and what you put out of your mouth. Does that make any sense? So what you say and what you eat are the two biggest things you can do to uh, stave off major climate change. The more vegetarian you eat, the more vegetables and fruits and non-meat products you eat are better for the climate. Especially cereals and grains, you can grow those just about anywhere in any kind of soil. And eating those are better than eating meat. If you need to eat meat, make it a, just a little bit of a piece here and there as a sort of a seasoning on, with food. So you eat little tiny pieces of it with your regular potatoes and your vegetables and your fruits. And of course your juice, homemade fruit juice. Those two things right there can lower humans' footprint on the planet by a large amount if we got enough people to do it. Let's send people. We've got almost a hundred people regularly watching this video. I'm sure with a hundred people we can 
I'm trying to get myself and the screen in the right place. It's so strange doing it with a, a selfie screen. <laughs> it's backwards. So anyway, I, uh, I think that everybody should try and do something. Don't just give up. That's the easy way to do it. You know, do it whatever way you can, but just don't give up on uh, your practices. Live close to work, drive less, have a small vehicle previously used, and watch Pink Barrio. And I definitely appreciate all the new subscribers and the new comments and the ups and the downs. And until next time.